Hi guys and welcome to Ratwolf and Bushcraft. Thanks a lot for tuning in. This video is going to be my personal try on the one stick fire challenge. And in case you haven't heard of that before, basically I'm supposed to go out here, collect one single stick, process that stick into tinder and firewood, build a fire from that and then boil some water in it so I can have some sort of a brew, right? And I've been nominated by my dear friend Tom from the Outer Channel, Tom and Cookie. I'm going to give you a link to his channel down in the description. And yeah, I say let's just give it a try because it's gonna be interesting. It's January, everything is damp and wet. If you take a look around here, it rained the last couple of days. So I hope I won't have too hard of a time finding some proper firewood. But yeah, let's just give it a try and see what we can learn from that. All right, let's go. That one here looked pretty all right on the first glance, but if you take a close look right here, it's growing diagonally, so that means that the rainwater was dripping down right from that direction. So right from the tip alongside the bottom side of that stick. So that's soaking wet. Unfortunately, I cannot use this. Look at this, it's way too moist. This one looks all right. All right, folks, I don't know if you can see this well on camera, but the entire piece of wood is moist. It's not only the dark part right here that's just a bit rotten, but also over here, if I put my lower lip on there, I feel the moisture just right in the center of that wood, right next to the pith. And that's no good for fire making. But I will take this nevertheless because nothing goes to waste. Those are great for spoon carving. So that's something. But yeah, I think I have to go look for another piece of wood for the fire. Oh boy. Super punky. It is kind of dry but super punky. So that's also useless. Okay folks, I've been walking around for about 45 minutes now and just everything is damp and wet. If you take a look right here, all these things are rotten, moist. But I found that stick right here and it seems to be from yeah, some sort of a camp that has been built here some while ago. And I just cut off a tiny piece and I put that to my lip and I, it's relatively dry. So I'm going to give it a try with this stick. It's not a lot, but I hope it will do the trick. So here's another view on that campsite and right down there is that one stick I was talking about. Not much. Okay, so to quickly show you the tip I was talking about, just put a piece of wood right here where your lower lip meets the rest of your jaw, right, right where this borderline of your lip is. And then you can feel the moisture within a piece of wood like that. It's a nice tip. Also, if you want to learn something about fire making in wet conditions, make sure to check out this video. I shot this quite a while ago, I think like two and a half years ago, but it's definitely worth watching. But yeah, let's get to fire making, all right? That's what you're here for. To make my life a little easier, I'm going to use the tripod bag as some sort of a cover so that I can work right here and not on the moist damp ground. This from earlier, I'm not allowed to use this. Cooking pot. 
Guck so. And a bit of water. Knife and saw only. Let's get going. So I split one of those logs for kind of a base layer to keep all of that fire material off the ground. I'm just gonna saw them in half and I'm going to collect the sawdust because I want to use the sawdust as my initial tinder. Let me collect all the sawdust. <laughs> it's quite a bit of work. Okay. That's it. Here grows nothing.
that ain't working all too well so far. Let's try it like this. Ah, almost. That didn't really work as planned, so yeah, time to improvise. Trying to make fine shavings with the spine of the knife now to see if that works. So here we go again. Oh no. So third and final try, because also my battery of the camera is about to give up. <laughs> I got 19 minutes left, but hey, here goes nothing. Oh, there was a tiny flame. Ah, oh, I lost it. Did you see that? Well, I don't want to give up yet, so let's give it a fourth try <laughs> with extremely great care. Let's see what happens. Ah, oh, there was a flame again.
another small one but yeah it's just going out right after it starts oh man okay one final attempt so here goes my final stick I'm trying to make as fine curls as I can possibly make and see if that works wish me luck So, as you can see, I tried my best just to make that as fluffy as I could. Here goes the final try. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, yo. Uh oh. Come on. Oh no. Oh no. Look at this. Can you see this? Let me get that close. That was it. Hmm. Okay folks, so in order to save you some time and to spare my own nerves, I'm just gonna call it a day, okay? I'm curious about your opinion. What do you think of this approach? Do you consider this a failure? Or do you think that this was at least some kind of a semi-success? After all, I got a flame for a couple of seconds, right? <laughs> yeah, anyway, leave me a comment below. What do you think of this? Yeah, and then again, like, what did I learn from that? As usual, trial and error gives you kind of some insight. Preparation is key. I did not pay all too much attention to that, to be honest, and I should have. That's the first lesson. The second lesson is that, again, you need to look properly in your surroundings, because I did not really find the ideal dry type of firewood that I would like to have in such a situation. So maybe I should just keep my eyes more open if I walk around and just um, yeah, look for suitable firewood in these conditions, right? And the third lesson maybe is listen to a couple of other opinions. So if you get feedback, just post it in the comments. I don't mind if you just tear me apart and uh, tell me how to do it differently. I can only learn from that. And that's the great thing about bushcraft, right? So please make sure to just share your opinion on this, to share your tips with me and all the other people that are watching this video. And yeah, to wrap up the video, I'm going to nominate three other channels that are also supposed to take part in this challenge. Number one being Fox Scout Survival, my dear friend Yannick. I'm curious about your approach. The second nomination is Thomas from Experience Nature, a very awesome bushcrafter. I'm pretty sure that he can get the job done even in these conditions. So Thomas, give it a try and show us how you do it. And the third nominee is Robin Willig, Bushcraft Robin, good friend of mine. I'm looking forward to his approach because he is basically an ultralight traveler usually and I'm curious to see whether he can make an ultralight fire with an ultralight stick, right? <laughs> but yeah, jokes aside, thanks for watching, I very much appreciate it. If you did like the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't so, and if you got something to add to this, as I mentioned before many times, just leave a comment below and we'll interact with each other, alright? Up until then, I wish you a great time outdoors, thanks again for watching, take care and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.